implement basic connectivity. Addressing table, switch one, switch two, PC one, PC two. Switch one, switch two, PC one, PC two. You will first create the basic switch configurations and you will implement basic connectivity by configuring IP addressing on switches and PCs. Perform basic configuration on S1 and S2. Configure S1 with a host name. Click S1 and then click the CLA tab. Click S1. Then click the CLA tab, this tab. Enable to access the privilege access mode and configure terminal to access the global configuration mode and set the host name as one. Configure the console and encrypted privilege exit mode passwords. Cisco for the console password. Access line console. Now you are on line configuration mode. Line configuration mode. Set the password. Password is Cisco in this case. And use the login command to enable that password. Exit to go to go back to global configuration mode, then use class for the privilege exit mode password. And remember, it should be encrypted, so use enable secret password. And the password is class. Verify password configurations for S1. To verify exit to go privilege exit mode, then use the show running config command. Enter enable secret encrypted and space space and password for console configure it. How can you verify that both passwords were configured correctly? Okay, how to verify you are on privilege exit mode and enter the exit command to log out from the switch. Press enter and you need to enter the console password, Cisco. Enter. Now, from user exit mode, use the enable command, then a password is required, so use class. After you exit user exit mode, the switch will prompt you for a password to access the console interface and will prompt you a second time when accessing the privilege exit mode. You can also use the show running config command to view the passwords. Use the appropriate banner text to warn on authorized access. The following text is an example. This text. Access global configuration mode with configure terminal command and create the banner. Banner message of the day and use any character and between these characters place the message can be this message. Control C to copy, then place the place here and paste. Now you have the this message. Enter. Save the configuration file to MVRAM. Uh, you can do this on privilege exit mode, so exit from global configuration mode and copy the running config to start up config. 
enter enter to confirm okay which command do you issue to accomplish this step this command repeat steps one to five for s2 okay click on s2 go to CLA tab, enter, enable, configure, terminal, hostname, S2. In this case, is a different name. Confu uh, access line, configuration mode with line console zero, and set the password Cisco. Use the login to enable that password, then exit from line configuration mode. Then on global configuration mode, enable secret, use the password class, the encrypted password. And create the banner, banner message of the day. Use any characters and between characters, enter this message, control C, then on this command line interface, just paste. Now you have the message, press enter. And exit from global configuration mode to privilege access mode and copy the contents of running config to startup config. Enter, enter to confirm the abbreviated version of the command. Configure PCs, configure PC1 and PC2 with IP addresses. Use the addressing table up here. 192.168.11 for PC1 and 12 for PC2. Click on PC1, IP configuration. 192.168.11. Use this uh, subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 0. And on PC2, 192.168.12 with the same subnet mask. Test connectivity to switches. Click PC1, close the IP configuration window. If it is still open, in the desktop tab, click Common Prompt. Okay, click on PC1, and if this is if this IP configuration window is open, close this and go to Common Prompt. Type in command and the IP address of S1, then press Enter. The IP address of S1 is 192.168.1.253. And this ping to that IP, the IP of S1. 192.168.1.253. Enter. The ping is failing. Were you successful? Explain. Your ping should have been unsuccessful because the switches have not been configured with an IP address. Configure the switch management interface. Configure S1 and S2 with an IP address. Configure S1 with an IP address. Switches can be used as plug and play devices. This means that they do not need to be configured for them to work. Switches forward information from one port to another based on MAC addresses. If this is the case, why would we configure it with an IP address? To connect remotely to a switch, you need to assign an IP address to it. The default configuration on the switch is to have the management of the switch controlled through VLAN 1. Use the following commands. Okay, use all these commands and click on switch one as one. You are on privilege access mode, access and global configuration mode with the configure terminal. 
access the interface configuration mode with the command interface VLAN1 and assign the IP address to that interface. IP address 192.168.1.253, subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 0. And don't forget to enable this interface with the not shut down command. Okay, then exit to exit from exit from interface configuration mode to global configuration mode. Why do you enter the not shutdown command? The not shutdown command administratively places the interface in active state. Configure as true with an IP address. The IP address of S2 is 254. Click on S2 from privilege exit mode. Configure terminal interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.1.254. Subnet mask, then no shutdown command and exit. Verify the IP address configuration on S1 and S2. Show IP interface brief command to display the IP address and the status of all the switch ports and interfaces. You can also use the show running config command. For example, on S2, go to privilege exit mode with the exit command and use show IP interface brief command space and you can see the interface, the IP address, the if it's okay, the method, the status, and the protocol. Um, Fast Ethernet 02 and Fast Ethernet 01. So that's why Fast Ethernet 1 and 2 status up and protocol up. Other interfaces status down and protocol down, except VLAN 1 that is a virtual interface in the switch and has an IP address and is up with the protocol up. You can use the show running config command, enter, and you can verify interface VLAN 1 here with an IP address. Save configurations for S1 and S2 to MVRAM. On S2, for example, copy running config to startup dash config. Enter, enter, enter. On S1, um, exit from global configuration mode. And use, I will use the abbreviated version, copy running config to startup config. Enter, enter, enter. Which command is used to save the configuration file in RAM to MVRAM? This command or the abbreviated versions. Verify network connectivity. Network connectivity can be verified using the ping command. It is very important that connectivity exists throughout the network. Corrective action must be taken if there is a failure. Ping S1 and S2 from PC1 and PC2. Click PC1, then click the desktop tab. PC1, close command prompt. This is the desktop tab. Click command prompt, access command prompt. Ping IP address of PC2. Ping IP address of PC2. The IP address of PC2 is 1.2. Success. Ping the IP address of S1. The IP address of S1 is 254. Enter. Okay. The first ping will fail for the ARP process. 
but if you repeat all pings will work and ping the IP address of S2 253 okay S1 is 253 and S2 is 254 okay uh, Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is uh, it's not 254. It's not uh, S1. It's uh, is is S2. But ping will work anyway. And the ping to 253 is the ping to S1, according to the addressing table, and will work very well. Very nice. You can also use the ping command on the switch command line interface and on uh, a PC2. For example, go to S2 and on privilege access mode, ping the IP address of PC1, 11, one, one. success, 505, five, ping to PC2, 1.2. If your ping will fail, you can repeat the ping success 505 and finally if you are on s2 you can do ping uh, uh, to s1 that is 253 okay s1 is 253 enter success first pings will fail but if you repeat the command will work very well All ping should be successful if your first ping will result is 80%. Try again, it should now be 100%. Uh, you will learn why a ping may sometimes fail the first time later in your studies. If you are unable to ping any of the devices, recheck your configurations for errors. Completion 100%. Thank you.